What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So today I've got three really awesome products to show you that'll be ideal for selling now and into the first few months of 2020. Um, as usual then, we're gonna be going through where you can source these products from, what you can buy them for, what you can sell them for, how much profit you can make, and the Facebook tag to options and audiences and interests that I recommend if you do choose one of these products. As always, there will be a competition too to win the one-to-one -one call, um, but so we can jump straight into the first product. I'll be announcing that later on in the video. That being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it and let's get straight into product number one. So product number one is this hand warmer cross power bank, um, but just in case you missed it in the opening slide, this keynote is downloadable. There will be a link in the video description and the keynote contains all the links to the products, um, to the research, to the Google Trends, etc. So if you do wanna download it, then just head to the first link in the description below. The reason I like these products so much then is number one is just because it's quite a cute and cool looking product. Like I showed this to my girlfriend and even though that she doesn't really have a requirement for a power bank, she likes the fact that it's an animal and the fact that it's functional and it looks good as well. Um, definitely suited for the female market, but there's a whole bunch of other reasons as well. So number one being, it'll make a great gift for Xmas and into the new year. Obviously, if you're in the UK, you'll know it's pretty dark, um, cold and miserable at the moment. It is in a lot of countries as well, so now is the ideal time, and that's backed up by the Google Trend information as well, which I'll be showing you in a second. Um, and the fact that it's rechargeable and portable too, people can take this on the go, which makes it an ideal product for the commuter market. So when it comes to targeting, finding an audience for this, then commuters think cities. Again, I'll be touching more on that later on in a second. The third thing then is it's multifunctional. The fact that it acts as a hand warmer and a power bank at the same time, people in this time of season when it is cold, they can charge their phone, which is obviously quite a good benefit for people commuting who need that function but then the secondary function is the fact that it does act as a hand warmer so again just two ideal functions that go hand in hand quite nicely and the reason why that makes this such an attractive product is because it has a usp which makes it perfectly suited for facebook ads when it comes to advertising a product on facebook the more unique and specific and special a product is the more attention it's going to get the more views the more engagements the more shares etc which is just a good thing for the facebook algorithm a good thing for your pixel just a good thing overall basically basically. The fourth point is there's great video ad potential relevant for this time of year. So if it was me going to sell a product like this, I would definitely buy one um, to test it as well. But then you could go out onto the tube in London or you could go for a run or go for a walk or just there's so many different ways in which you could advertise a product like this quite effectively. So the next point and probably one of the most important is the fact that it's on an upward trend. So I'm just going to open up the link so you guys can see it. Um, I get asked all the time, how do I pick a product? And one of the most important things to consider is the fact that how popular is that product? How popular is that product at this moment of time? Are people looking to buy a product like this? And if we look at the data, we can see that it's approaching kind of like the peak popularity, which arrives in December, which means now would be the perfect time to sell this product because there's more and more people looking and searching for this particular product, if that makes sense. If you download the keynote, all the links are included so you guys can head across and see the data yourself. The next point as well, again, another important one, is the fact that there's great profit margins um, for a product like this. So 1285 is what it's gonna cost you to get this delivered to your customer. So that includes e-packet delivery, which is important. Retail price, I did a bit of research on this, found a few other Shopify stores selling it, and 30 pounds seems to be about the average price, which leaves you with approximately 17 pounds profit. If you take into account a 10, 15 pound cost per purchase on Facebook, plus an upsell, then you're looking at a pretty decent um, and quite easily achievable profit margin, in my opinion. Do the math then and that works out at 1.75 break even ROAS. Um, and just in case you're not sure how to work that out, basically what you do is you take the retail price minus your costs to give you the profit and then you divide the retail price by the profit and that will give you what your break even ROAS is. And then that way when you're advertising on Facebook, you can go and have a look at what your ROAS is for each ad set. And as long as it's above that 1.75, then you'll be making a profit minus all your other expenses. So apps, your subscription plans, etc. Moving into the final points for this product then, and this is the Facebook tags and options that I would recommend if you choose to sell a product like this. I would go for both genders, male and female, purely because this time of year, um, people aren't necessarily looking to buy things for themselves, they're looking to buy things for gifts, and I think it makes a really nice gift because it does fall into that kind of gift price range. I think pe most people are willing to spend £30 on somebody they care about. 
I would definitely think of commuters. So think of targeting certain cities um, where there's going to be a lot of commuters. You can even target by what they do for a living as well. So something to think about. And then a couple of other things as well that you can actually put in the targeting box, which is online shopping, which is actually an interest you can target. You can also target engaged shoppers. So these are people who have a history of buying things through ads. And then the most obvious and probably the most effective way um, of targeting as well is to actually target the people where the problem is actually occurring at that moment in time and then that way their interest is going to be at its peak so what you could do then is you could have a lifetime budget so you can set the specific hours in which you want to target these people you could go for the first few hours in the morning the last few hours in the day these are going to be the times in which people are commuting and your ad can address the fact that people are commuting say hey are you on the train are you commuting are your hands cold does your phone need charge this is the perfect solution. So you're highlighting the problem, offering the solution, and that's just a really effective way to market any product. So that's product number one then guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video and of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button too. And with that being said then, I think now is a good time to announce the competition that I run in every single video. So if this is the first time watching one of my videos, in every single video, I give away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me. For your chance to win that then, all you simply have to do is hit the like button below this video hit the subscribe button below this video and then leave your comment down below and then finally tune into my next video where the winner will be announced at the end of that particular video so with that being said guys let's get into product number two so this is product number two then it's an led nightlight slash projector it does a couple of different things which i'm going to be showing you in a video ad um, but let's stick to the list then so number one it's just a really cool product in general if you ask me the things it does um, a quite visual which is just kind of suits and lends itself towards being advertised through Facebook which is always a good thing it's multi-purpose in the fact that it helps solve a problem and makes a parent's life easier obviously this is going to be aimed towards a parent with a child that can act as a nightlight and as a projector to help them fall asleep number three there's huge video ad capability so I'm just going to open up this link here and show you what I mean so this is the product page on Aliexpress I'm just going to play the video for the products there's tons of content you could create on this but then also find on the internet to chop up and make your own video and there's so many different styles and things and a product that's really visual is easy to advertise and gets a lot of attention and the more attention a product gets and ad gets on Facebook the more reach you're going to get the more organic reach you're going to get the lower your CPMs are going to be which obviously is just a good thing the more people you can reach for cheaper then the better chance you have of making sales. So in terms of video ad capabilities, this is always really important. Again, another important factor when it comes to picking products is it has to be easy to advertise or effective to advertise. Moving on to the next thing then, it's also upcoming in peak popularity. Again, I'm gonna open up the link. Um, and just in case you missed it earlier in the video, this keynote will be downloadable, so you do have access to all of these links, etc. And if we just look at when the peak popularity is, it's kind of in November this year, if I can actually highlight it. December is still pretty good, but it's on a downward trend. So basically, the winter months in the UK and other countries is an ideal time, i.e. now to sell a product like this. Moving on to the next point then is... As I've just pretty much mentioned, um, it's ideal for this time of year. Obviously, it's dark for the majority of the day, which means there's an application for quite a few hours in the day for products like this. And then the final point is great profit margins, which is obviously a really important point. So delivery wise, then you're looking at £20.51, including e packet. You obviously have to make sure you include the delivery costs too, because it can affect your profit margins. Um, depending on how expensive delivery is. Retail price, £40 as a minimum. I did a lot of research on this and I wanted to base the numbers on like a worst case scenario. I've seen people sell this for $60, £60. So what I would do if I was you is I would start at £40 and if your conversion rate is pretty good, I would just slowly start to creep the price up, obviously just to make a bit more profit. Once you've sold it and then paid for it, you're looking at about £19.48, obviously minus your Facebook cost per purchase. 39.99 divided by 19.48 gives you a 2.05 break even rise and that's not included any upsells um, or cross sales or anything like that just a quick little tip then for you guys if you do if you do have upsells or cross sales on your store make sure you're getting them from the same supplier as the original um, trigger product that way you're only going to pay one courage charge trust me when it comes down to drop shipping and doing it profitably um, and sustaining that profit over a long period of time, then profit margins are everything. Like your bottom line is everything, and anywhere you can save a couple of quid or a couple of dollars can really make the difference. 
So Facebook tags and why is female and male? Obviously parents can be female and male. 25 plus is the age range I've gone for. Um, and this is up for debate. The reason I've gone for 25 plus is because younger parents might not have the spare cash to spend 40 pounds on just a nightlight when you can get something that doesn't do the same thing, but for a lot cheaper. Uh, parents with children, again, this is another criteria you can actually specifically target on Facebook, which just makes it really easy to target a specific audience suitable for this product. So you can target actual parents with children of a certain age range. You can go on past purchase behavior, engage shoppers, similar to the previous products I mentioned, online shopping again, to target somebody who has a past purchase behavior, um, a past record of buying things through Facebook ads, and they're a parent with a child of a certain age that will suit a product like this, then in my opinion, you're gonna have a really kind of laser focused and high quality audience that's gonna convert really well. You can also target these things as well on Facebook as well. One of the reasons why I absolutely love Facebook, there's so many different demographics, interests, um, employments, um, devices, placements that you can tag on Facebook. And a couple of these that you might not be aware of then is early childhood education, fatherhood, and motherhood. And with that being said then guys, that's number two. Any questions at all, by the way, as we go along that I don't answer in the video, uh, make sure you leave them in the below in the comment section. Um, I do answer every single question. So moving on to product number three then, is this unique hairdryer. Now before you click off the video thinking this is a rubbish product, it's too expensive, just bear with me of why this is such a good product. Um, as it says there in brackets, that's kind of like a hint is it looks like the Dyson hairdryer. And if you haven't seen it, my girlfriend wants one. If you've got a girlfriend or a sister that uses a hairdryer, pretty much every girl I know uses a hairdryer, then the chances are they've wanted to die someone. And they're like 300 pounds, three, 400 pounds, which is just ridiculous, which is why a product like this will do so well. For the following reasons then, cheaper versions of brands always do well. If you go on AliExpress and look at some of the stereotypical dropshipping products that have done well, that have got thousands and thousands of orders, then it's like, they're cheaper alternatives to the AirPods. You can pick up think, um, AirPods from AliExpress that pretty much do the same thing for like 10% of the cost. Again, when it comes to action cameras, GoPros are like three, 400 quid. You can get something that's 4K, might not do it as well, but essentially does the same thing. Again, for about 10, 20% of the cost. And they sell well because for people who want AirPods or GoPros or GHDs as straighteners, but can't necessarily afford to pay for the premium brand and pay for that premium price, then they go for the cheaper alternatives. And this is one of those products. And if you don't believe me, then feel free to run your own test. But I did this to my girlfriend. I showed her this product. And the first thing she said is it looks like the Dyson. So essentially to somebody who doesn't understand the technology, maybe it does the same thing. It looks pretty similar, but it's like a fraction of the cost. So it's just a win-win in my opinion, when advertising something like this on Facebook, there's a huge market, as I've mentioned, that almost every female out there uses hair dryers. There's a lot of blokes as well that uses hair dryers too. Uh, number three, there's great video ad capabilities because you can run a really effective video ad for a product like this, just showing how effective it is, what it does, what it looks like. And it's a pretty nice looking product all in all too. Like it looks like it's made out of good quality materials um, which is going to attract a lot of people there's great gift potential then for this in q4 obviously with it coming up to christmas and then obviously come january january and it's not famous for but everybody went sales in january some people even delayed their christmas day and have it in january just because that's when typically a lot of the big brands and big stores will run the january sales which again makes it the ideal time to bring a product like this to facebook and offer some sort of big discount Lastly then, there's great profit margins and also great upsell options. With this being in the beauty and kind of like self-care niche, then there's just tons and tons of products that you could upsell alongside this. As for the profit margins then, including e-packets, so this is the final cost you'll pay is £39.23 delivered to your customer. You could easily retail this at £100. In January, you could advertise it at £200, half price to £100 to really entice people um, into buying it, which leaves you with £60.76 profit. If you can achieve a cost per purchase of £10 on Facebook, which is pretty reasonable um, overall over the course of all of your cold interest ad sets and your retargeting ad sets, you're looking at about £50 profit per order. You'd only need, say, two orders a day over the course of the whole year. It's about 36 grand profit minus your subscription and apps cost. So there's a ton of potential in a product like this. Your break even rise then is 1.65, which is pretty low for a product that's actually this expensive. Another reason of why this is a great product, in my opinion, is because when it comes to advertising on Facebook, there's so many different options. There's like 
unlimited options when it comes to different makeup brands, different perfume brands, skincare brands, beauty products, makeup influencers, makeup websites. You could go to Facebook, you could go to Snapchat, Pinterest, and Instagram and advertise this product effectively on pretty much every platform because your market is on every platform. And because it's so visual, it would work well on every platform. There'd be influencers on every platform that you could ask to promote this product for you as well. And then the final targeting options I would go for would be a female audience and 18 plus because it is quite an expensive product you can get hair dries for like 20 30 pounds although I might be wrong I'm not a female myself you never know in fact what you could do is just go for male and female 18 plus and just see what the data says see where the data comes from where the cheapest clicks are where the add to carts the purchases are and then just kind of like focus down from there now, with that being said then guys, that is all three products. Thank you very much for watching. I apologize if I rushed those last couple. Um, I was just a bit conscious of how long this video was getting. Um, I would appreciate some feedback actually. Let me know what you think to these videos. Are they too long? Are they too in depth? Are they not in depth enough? Um, at the end of the day, I produce these videos so you guys enjoy them. So if you're not enjoying them, make sure you tell me why. A couple of things then before you go is make sure you head over to Instagram, follow me on there. I post pretty much every single day on there. Um, and then there are some free ebooks in the description below, so check those out. There's five different ones on each aspect of your Shopify store. And then finally, if you're interested in a course, then check out my Ecom Academy. There is a 10K club coming very soon because I've got a few students that are approaching that mark in sales. And that being said then guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you entered the one-to-one -one competition in my previous video, just make sure you stick around and I'll get into announcing the winner now. So this is the previous video then. Um, thanks very much to everybody who commented, everybody who liked. 137 likes is absolutely awesome, so thank you. Um, I'm just going to take the URL then, head over to the random comment picker. Um, see so you when the video win 70 unique comments. That's crazy. I think that's the most I've ever got. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And the winner then of the previous video is Mad One Gaming. So thanks very much for your entry. Hit me up on Instagram. We can get that call arranged. Um, and guys, if you do just want to get straight down to business, you can actually book a call anytime you like. There will be a video in the description below. Finally then guys, thanks very much again, and I will see you in the next one.